So, part two. About Wonder Girl. They killed her off. But other than that, they killed off Aqualad. Why? Why? No, seriously, why? 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 And from season one, I literally told myself this. Anyone that they meet, as literally like, when they help you, don't trust them. And this one, don't want to help people. And I'm just like... <laughs> you know? So... Everything in the show, in my opinion, is really good. Kana, in my opinion, is great. They fucked him up, too, with the same thing with Beast Boy Man. Like I said in part one, they fucked these two guys up so badly, right? And the thing is, too, if Wonder Girl comes back, what's Aqualad? Oh, he's dead, definitely, right? That stroke fucking clack, clack. Shot him. Either he, or right here, or he, or, or, so, well, he shot him. He killed him. And, it sucks, man. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man. I was just sitting there like, you killed Aqua. You killed Aquaman's uh, sidekick. You, you could have killed Wonder Woman's Hey, it could have killed Batman's. But apparently they have Kryptonite. Body armor. Plot armor. <laughs> you know? It's like, nah. We'll make sure when you have to die. We, when we want you to die, we'll let you know. Alright? And you make sure you go around the blaze of glory. Crying out loud when Slade fucked up Wonder Girl. Just stabbing on and she's like, oh, oh. Imagine Slade was just like, picked her hair up like this. Had the knife to her throat. And it's like, you know, for a woman that has the strength of a Superman, you really suck. He could have killed her right there. He didn't though. He didn't. He didn't. Hmm. Hmm. And then eventually get Jer um Jericho was inside. Jericho was inside um Slate and Slate inside Slate's body, and for a moment he's trying to like trying to make sure he he kills him, gets run over by a truck and shit, and stuff like that. That shit's hilarious in my opinion. You always wonder why he was all shaking all of a sudden. And it's because of that shit. His son is still inside of him. Because right before he died. His power. Was transmuting his consciousness to somebody else. And he did that. To to his dad. Now he did that. In the end of the series. To his sister. So now. Brother and sister are together again. That's a nice. I think that that's a beautiful story right there. You know. And. Can we get Slade's daughter and Jason Todd back together? I mean, they make a cute couple. And, to be honest, they need each other. They need each other. They found each other, and they need each other. They really do. When two people find each other, they need each other, man. Alright? It's just a simple fact. Alright? Their lives become way better. Well for them to go. Is that just me? Am I here to satisfy you? No. <laughs> but it's true. It really is. Grab this right here, actually. So, I think that's it. That I need to say. This series is, I'm really enjoying this series. And hopefully, well, I am going to watch season three. Season three is going to be a wild ride. I think episode two or three, Dick Grayson is freaking, not Dick Grayson, um, 
Jason Todd is already red hood. That was quick. <laughs> you know? So, I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to Blackfire. Blackfire and Starfire. You know they're going to fight. They're going to fight and they're going to kick ass. Hey, when, when can we see Starfire fly? When can we see Starfire fly? We saw Connor fly. Fine and fucking Lee. Took you long enough, you motherfucker. That, that's the one thing I do want to complain with, um... With, um, Donna's death. You kill Supergirl off. Well, there's literally a Superman right next to you that can literally hold the same thing and probably not die. Hell, if you had Shazam with you, he definitely wouldn't die. <laughs> and the thing is, too, have you guys noticed that you, if, if you guys ever watch um, Shazam, in the end, you know how they go to the, the amusement park and all that shit? They go through the same thing. It looks the exact same thing from the Shazam movie. Most likely, this came out first before Shazam, so I'm going to say this and then Shazam. But I'm glad DC is actually using their um. They also also DC is also using their logo from Gotham. If you look at Gotham, they're using the Wayne Manor logo from the Gotham series. From, I've noticed that. So I'm glad that they're actually doing canon universes here. I'm like, good. This is why I wanted. That's all I fucking wanted, guys. Like, make these series and make them canon for either winks or references. It's kind of loud. Like, a little logo of Wayne Manor from this series into Gotham. That's something that no one wouldn't notice until, like, a hardcore, hardcore fan that would look at both of the series and be like, they're the same series. Holy shit, you know? Or, like, the, you know, um, because the movie one is different from the TV version. So... So they want to upscale for that. But the fact that we got the definitive Bruce Wayne of what he would look like when he gets older. There you go. And this is and this Bruce Wayne. It's a 60s Bruce Wayne. I'm suspecting some Dark Knight Returns type shit. You know? But they probably want to do that as a movie. They've been trying to hint at this for a long time. Make it as a movie. I mean, you technically already have. Technically, it's two and one. You going back to what you wore, Jekyll comes back and shit like that, you fight Joker, then fighting Superman. You had it great there, actually, Warner Brothers. But you decided to just fuck it up. They had it. They did have it. They could have done that with Jerry Leto's Joker, and then the next one could have, part two, could have been him fighting Superman, and that could have been the Batman movie, both of them. You see how easy this would have been? It's not that hard. But now, since you're fixing all of this shit, how about now we do get that eventually? Since you already did Batman vs. Superman, might as well do, do this one now. What will you call it? Yeah, just the Dark Knight Returns. Just call it that. Yeah, just call it that. And you end it with Batman fighting off Joker. And shit like that, you know? Two Faces is part of it, too. And if you want to make a cameo for other characters, like maybe Penguin, because we didn't see Penguin in the comic books or even in the um, comic book movie, then that's fine. I don't care what you do. You know? So, I was honest if it's good, obviously. So, I'm enjoying myself with Titans, man. I am enjoying myself. I finally, finally, Raven has become her own. What we see in the comic books and in Teen Titans, alright? Seriously. So, I'm happy with that. Happy with that Starfire. Is coming into her own too. And. 
Don and Hank, man. They're, 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 they're like, it, it's almost like this. There's no more Don and Hank, but what about Dove and Hawk? And I'm like, <laughs> make a series of these guys. <laughs> you you really don't have to, but could, could, could we actually get a series of, of, uh, of the, what is it? Um, the nuclear family? Please, could we get a series of these guys? I know he killed them off in season one, but we need a series of these guys. They having too much fun on the screen. Have them have a series. They deserve it. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if you do a prequel. I don't care if it's a prequel to Titans. Do it. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Just do it. Do it. And if you want to start off of like, oh, they start off with a different family and then certain things happen, then they eventually get that family that we saw in Titans, then fine, do that. I don't care. Just bring these characters. <laughs> Seriously. Because I think they deserve more. That I, th I think we need a little bit more of those characters in the war. That's just me. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, we're highlighting Joker uh, as a villain in, in movies what, and shit like that. And we did that with Gotham and with Penguin and Riddler and stuff like that. Why not do it with some other DC characters that are probably unknown a little bit? You highlighted Polka Dot Man in, in the, the Suicide Squad. And people loved him. People fucking loved him. And the actor, the actor that played that, literally, he's done... He's... When I first saw him, he was literally in the Dark Knight, as he he knows something about the Joker, basically. And we never saw him die again until well, obviously Harvey Dent was trying to shoot him in the head. And he's like, I don't know everything. And then Bruce Batman is just like, What do you think? He, yeah, he doesn't know anything, you know, <laughs> basically. So he's been around since that time, in, in my opinion. And to be quite honest, if there's a DC Hall of Fame for actors, he needs to be number one in there. All right? All right? He has done The Dark Knight, he has done Gotham, and now he's done The Suicide Squad. I'm pointing to the movie, that's right. Now, he has done The Suicide Squad. This man needs either his own series of him becoming the Joker, because he's actually not bad as a Joker, or his own series, or put him in a, in a Warner Brothers Hall of Fame. You, you, you can start making a Warner Brothers Hall of Fame if you want to. You don't even have to have, like, oh, we never have it. Start making it now, and he'll be the first inductee. Yeah. All right? Who'll be, who be the second one? Michael Keaton. Yeah. All right? You can start off Michael Keaton and him. How about that? Doesn't sound too much. Doesn't sound too bad, right? And then, and then if you want to get the audience even more, Tim Curry. Just because he owned it, the, the it movie. I'm seeing it right here. Has the Warner Brothers logo. What else you could put in there? <laughs> you know? Um, why not? Steven Spielberg, because he worked at some of your movies. Why not? Why not? Just to get another big name out there. I don't know. Some stupid shit. But, at the end of the day, guys, what do you guys think of Titans Season 2? Hope you watch Part 1. Thank you for watching for Part 2. Sorry I was eating. I'm just having a snack. So, I'm looking forward to season three. Season three should be nice and awesome. Really cool. And, <laughs> yeah, you guys don't want me to get talking to spiritual enlightenment stuff about these two seasons. Because I'll be like, oh, I'll be here all day. So, I won't do that. I probably won't let me do that on my enlightenment spiritual channel. Because I just, again, I would... I would never stop talking about it. I'll probably make like 50 videos just talking about it. Alone. Yeah. I'm dead serious. I'm gonna allow the, 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 the nuclear family. Them alone, I can make like 20 videos about them. In the episode where they brainwash um, Superboy and Beast Boy. I, that alone, I could do like 20 episodes on too. But just, I just... Won't do it. I just won't do it. Because if you know, you know. There's already information out there that you guys should know, anyways. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Be safe. And Titans, go. Yeah, I know that's kind of corny.